What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. Uh, check out CompSupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support. And also check out RyanD.com for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Click coaching on the top and book an appointment. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a phrase that I hear very frequently from people who are um, in it for a couple days or a week or so, sometimes longer. Um, I'll usually get contacted the day before people start to with, go through withdrawals. Now the reason this is, is because you're using for the last time, you feel somewhat normal, um, and you're gung-ho because you feel somewhat normal. The withdrawal hasn't kicked in yet, you do not feel crappy or depressed or feeling any lack of motivation, um, so you feel good. So your spirits are high, and you reach out to me and say, you know, I'm ready to do this. This is gonna be my first time, second time, third time, fourth, whatever it may be. A couple days in, week in, a couple weeks in, I'll hear, I don't know if I can do this. And I've heard that phrase probably close to a million times, and I'm not exaggerating. Now, everyone gets to a point where they feel like, I don't know if I can do this. And let me just make something very clear right now. You can. When you get that feeling or that voice in your head telling you, you know, every, every angle possible to not keep going on the, you know, route you are, the right route, when you have that voice beating you down, giving you alternate routes to go and ultimately to land you back where you started, it just seems like it's more comfy. It's almost like when you're um, miserable, you're tired, someone's handing you a nice warm blanket in bed and saying, you know, you can go to bed now. Sure, you can go to bed and take the pill or bag of dope and you'll feel better for a very short amount of time. You'll get some rest, but you're pretty much starting all over again. And that warm comfort that blanket of euphoria you, you feel is killing you. So when I hear, I don't know if I can keep doing this, or I don't know if this is right for me, I don't know if, if this is the right time, you've already made up your, your mind if you keep beating yourself up and coming to me and telling me this. I already, I've heard this before. I know what's happening next, okay? You're making your, your bed, okay? You're trying to transition and make yourself you're feeling sorry for yourself pretty much and if you can catch it before you will you lay that ground um, for the future of you know setbacks if you can catch it in time and say wait wait a minute what am I doing I don't know if I can do it of course I can do this it's don't give yourself a way out because as addicts you know you're trying to look for the quickest fastest means of comfort and this time you can't Okay, there's going to be some pain, there's going to be some anguish, there's going to be some depression. You have to fight through it. There is no 100% easy way out. There's ways to lessen the withdrawal symptoms, sure. There's a million different ways to do that. But there's no easy way out, ever. Okay, so don't try to go into withdrawals and say, I'm gung-ho, I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. And when shit hits the fan and you start feeling like crap, don't whimper in a corner and start complaining and say, I don't know if this is for me. Because millions of people have gotten clean. And they're no tougher than you. They just had a different mindset. Okay, if you go into it knowing that it's going to suck, but you're stronger than the suck. Okay, you are. If you're able to keep your addiction going no matter what, if you're broke as shit, how do you keep getting your drugs? Because you pull dopamine moves, you, you finagle your way through things, you talk people, you manipulate people. That is not easy to do, okay? And you do it for as long as you can until you're burnt the hell out, right? Why can't you use that same mentality to save your life and do good things? It's in you. You're proving it by doing it when you're trying to get drugs. Why can't you do it to save yourself? That's a reality a lot of people have to face. Because I can tell you, <clears throat> when I was at my worst, 
I have no clue how each day I got drugs. I would wake up withdrawing every day with nothing because I was the type of addict that I couldn't go to sleep holding off and just like leaving a little bit for myself so I wasn't sick in the morning. There was none of that. I used everything before I went to bed. So I woke up every morning miserable trying to figure out how the hell I was gonna get shit. And by the end of the day, I had it. And it's just, you know, you figure a way to do it because you want it bad enough, you'll do it. If you wanna get clean, you'll figure it out. Okay, you'll do whatever it takes. You don't, you, you won't have pity parties in the corner of the room. You won't curl up on the ball and say, this isn't right for me, this isn't, it is right for you. It's the only choice you have. There is no other option. Okay, you have to get clean. If you keep living this life, if you want to live that lifestyle, sure. Go ahead, do it. But why are you watching me? You know what I mean? Like, why are you searching for other ways to live? Because deep down, you know it's, that life sucks. Being addicted to drugs is horrible. Okay, there's no happiness to it, ever. Even when you have all the drugs in the world in front of you, you're never happy. You're always, you know, chasing the next high and miserable while you are high because you're not really yourself. Your soul is totally trapped in there and it, it's not free. I mean, it's, it's down there in the cobwebs. All right. So if you have that feeling where, you know, I don't know if I can do this, suck it up, look yourself in the mirror and catch it before it engulfs you. Do not have a setback. Do not go back to that. And don't have a pity party. I can say it a million times. Don't fight your ass off. It's your life. You only get one. How many times do I have to say this? You want true happiness? You got to fight for it. And you're worth it. I wouldn't make these videos if you weren't. All right. So check out RyanD.com for one-on-one -on -one coaching and CompSport.com for stress, relaxation, and immune and sleep support. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.